Hello and welcome. My name is Rick Baxter with Cost Control Software out of Carmel, Indiana. I'm so glad you found this website. You must have come here to learn about Microsoft Dynamics NAV software. Let's get started right now. Okay, the first thing I want you to see, and I'm going to move my face out of the way, is follow me up here to the search box. This is the search box in NAV 2009. And in here, you just like any other search application, you can type in, let's say, customer. So I type customer, and then I can go to customers financial, sales and marketing, customers manufacturing. Let's pick customers sales and marketing. And it opens up the sales and marketing a screen and brings up my customer list with information, fact boxes, menu choices about that customer. Let me give you another example. Let's go items. We just type in items and we'll go to inventory items. And this time it brings up our inventory items. So here's a list of our items, supply and demand fact boxes, images of that item, uh, ribbons uh, to show the supply and demand over time, and of course a variety of menu choices. Now this is not to, this, to replace using menus. Now, there are still menus over here on the left side, so I can pick sales and marketing. I can pick the home key, go to customer, so I can do it from the menu as well, but often you can't quite remember where you want to go. So um, do learn to use the uh, search box up here in the upper right hand corner as you start to learn to use NAV. So that's tip number one. Okay, here comes tip number two, which is on personalization of your role center. So I'm going to stay right here on the role center, come up to this little icon right here where you can actually select whether you want to uh, make changes and I'm going to go into customize this page customize this page now you get a kind of an image here of what that page looks like back here so all I want to do is just show you in this segment for example notifications very important notifications that's where you get your email alerts and notifications from other um, other users of the system maybe well I'll give you an example here in a second so I'm going to go ahead and just move that up, pick the move up option, and now you see my notifications here. This is where some other user of the system could say, hey Rick, check out this particular uh, purchase order, for example, or look at the this inventory item, it seems like our stocking level is too high. And so those notifications would show right up here in your uh, notification box. And notice what I did is I moved that up to my upper right hand corner. That's a personalization. Now I'll show you one other personalization and that is charts. A lot of times you will want charts on the page so I'm going to customize again. Come over here to the chart part and add a chart. So now I've got a blank chart but I simply go in to customize that and then pick a chart. So let's do customers by salesperson. So we'll maybe get some counts here and then I'll OK that. And just below the customer option, I'm starting to get some counts of how many um, customers are assigned to this particular salesperson, JR and PS. OK, so that's a tip on personalizations and there's a whole lot more available in just a moment. So stay tuned for that. Now my last tip is to show you how to basically create your own charts. This is going to be with Chart Wizard and watch and follow me as I go through this uh, last tip and then I'm going to tell you a little bit more of how you can uh, learn about our training materials. Um, I'm going to go into uh, Actions up here in the upper left uh, left hand corner. So I click on Actions, come down to uh, Chart Wizard. This is part of our uh, setup options and I'm going to create basically a new chart and I'm going to create a chart of my sales by location. So I'm going to, you'll see me do this from scratch. So I'm going to pick new and we're going to call this uh, chart uh, location sales. That's what we'll just call it uh, sales location sales. That's it. And the table that we need to pull this from, I'll just grab it out of the customer table. So I'm going to go to the customer table which is table number 18 right there. So that's the customer table. It's going to be a column kind of chart. And what I want to cross the bottom, that's the x-axis, is I want to show the location. So I simply 
uh, scroll down. Let me make this a little bigger for you. So we're going to scroll down to the location code because that's what we want on our x-axis. There it is right there, location code. So I select that. And then running up the y-axis, I'm going to get a, not a count, but a sum of the uh, dollar amounts for the uh, uh, sales. I want the sales numbers by location. So I'm going to come down to sales. Did I miss it? I think I missed it. There we go. Sales by, there it is, sales. So there's our sales, and we'll show, this one shows uh, the title of that. And that's pretty much it. So I can uh, say generate chart, and it was created and updated, so we're good to go. And we can close out of this. All right, now the only thing I have to do is basically place that chart on the form. I've created the chart, I just need to place it on the on the pages on the roll center so I'm gonna go back into where you saw me before and this is off your screen just a little bit I'm gonna go into customize the page and let's uh, the chart that we've got there now I'm gonna remove that one temporarily and then add in a new chart part and this one is going to be our the one we just created called location sales there it is right there and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to hit OK. And up comes our new chart, all created for us, all automatically, right there for our location sales. And it shows all of our sales dollars. It scales it, does everything for us, all automatically with the chart wizard. Now those are our three, um, those are our three little tips to kind of uh, get you started some sense for what we do here at navtraining.net is give you lots of training information and ideas for NAV software. Okay, so you've just received three free little learning segments about NAV, but there's so much more to learn. And I want to basically encourage you to move to the next level, which is three more. Uh, learning segments. I'll go into a little more detail on those future segments and all you have to do to get access to those is just to my left here you'll see you'll need to opt in and put in your first name and your email address and on the next page uh, we'll get you started on the first of our three free uh, much more in-depth uh, training segments. Thanks so much.